Hey guys, it's Dr. Kelsey, and it's November, so we're focusing on Chihuahuas, and this is Bella, a Chihuahua, about three years old, and we're talking about medical conditions in this video. So we're gonna highlight three. Um, the first one is what's called collapsing trachea. All right, um, collapsing trachea, basically what that is, as they get older, their trachea, so their windpipe that we're talking about, uh, it kind of loses its rigidity, its strength. Think of it like your trachea like a hose, a garden hose, okay? Over time, it gets more flaccid and more loose. And so what you'll see is a dog that might cough when they're drinking a little bit of water or really start coughing, you know, a pretty um, deep cough, you know, a lot, multiple times as it gets worse. Um, so, unfortunately, chihuahuas do get that fairly commonly as they get older, maybe seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. As they get older, you'll see that. Uh, it's something to be on the lookout for. A lot of times we just treat them medically, meaning medically with medicine and pills. Um, we take it, you know, a lot of times we'll find them with x-rays, so we'll shoot an x-ray to see if that actual trachea collapsed on the x-ray. Um, and there are stents um, available. Those are, though, very um, challenging, let's just say. There's only, there's not all that many places that do stents uh, for collapsing trachea, but it is available in certain parts of the country and depending on the surgeon. Um, hydrocephalus, number two, hydrocephalus. Now that's more actually reverse back to puppyhood. Um, hydrocephalus can happen, you know, a, a lot of chihuahuas, in fact, nearly most of them come in here and they have what's called an open fontanelle or a little small hole where their, where their skull has not completely grown and or grown, grown together yet. Um, and some dogs have kind of deviated eyes, so their eyes will be kind of pointed outwards. Um, that's one indication, again, a large open fontanelle um, they could have seizures and things like that. Um, but again, hydrocephalus, you know, I haven't really seen issues with it that, all that often, which is very good. But it does happen in chihuahuas more commonly than other dogs. And finally, number three we're going to talk about is just kind of arthritis and kneecaps and things. They're probably one of the top breeds to get patella luxation. And all that means is that their kneecaps can pop in and out, and pop in and out. And um, you'll see that occasionally where a dog might hold his leg up and kind of skip when he's running. Um, and so that can happen, and that's called a patella luxation. Again, most of the time that's treated medically if it's bad. Uh, if it's even if it's significant, then there is a surgery uh, available to try to help fix that. And the other part of the, again, kind of with the kneecaps and joints, is just arthritis. You wouldn't think a little dog would get arthritis as much, but they actually do. They can get it in their elbows. Um, and they can get it, of course, in their knees and hips, but they can get elbow, a little bit of elbow dysplasia or um, kind of subluxation. So basically just, it's not congruent. And um, you can see a chihuahua with some arthritis that way. So as they get older, you know, just because they're little, that means they, you know, they're easy to take care of. You got some issues, you got the dental disease, you got to watch your arthritis uh, and be aware of that. So hope that helps if you're looking at a chihuahua or have one. Um, I hope that uh, going over those reviews will help you understand your chihuahua a little better.